Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom and Digital Classroom is made possible by BenQ and Rogue. Hey guys, we all love to tinker with our images, right? We love to change the colors, we love to use, well, I sometimes call it, we love to Instagram the heck out of a shot. Take for example this shot from Sharon done in Groningen. We can of course do different looks and well, the image uh, doesn't really get better, but you know what I mean, right? You want to change the color sometimes. Sometimes out of the camera is great, but for me, I always want to give it my unique look. Now, one of the most important things to realize is how color works. Now, we all have color spaces and I don't want to go into Adobe RGB, sRGB or Profoto RGB. I just want to explain color space. Every color in a color space has three coordinates, X, Y and a big Y. And those are actually called saturation, U and luminance. Now, those three coordinates can be manipulated and that way you can change your color. Now, let's just take an example, for example, the red over here. And you can actually go into almost any plugin and you can find in most plugins, you can find an HSL converter, U, saturation and luminance. Now, let's just focus on this red. We can change the hue of the red and that actually means that you go to magenta or towards yellow. And you can change the saturation of the reds or desaturate. And of course you can also change the luminance of the red. Now the cool thing is when you lower your luminance a color will get more saturated. If you raise the saturation it can happen that a color actually starts to bleed. So you, you have to play around with that a little bit but those two actually are a little bit interacting with each other. So that's what HSL does. Now HSL is incredibly powerful because you can literally just change anything in a color if you want. So let's first reset the settings. Okay. Now this is of course in color and by the way I recently did a video on Alien Skin Exposure 3. Their new release has an amazing HSL editor in there and I will link to the video below. But let me just show you something else that you can do with HSL and it's not really HSL but it's it's connected to that color. Now when you are in a color mode you of course have this U saturation and luminance which I just explained. But how does it work in black and white? Now that's actually where this video is about. Mastering your black and white look. So let's switch over to black and white and now you will actually see that my HSL has disappeared. But I still have something else and this is actually more like a color mixer. You have black and white, the mix. Now you have to realize that black and white is slightly different than just without color. There's still color in there but you don't see the color because the saturation is all the way down. But what you can still do is manipulate those colors. So let's say for example I want to change the reds. As you can see, I can still absolutely control my image. Now, if you like black and white, this is absolutely one of the coolest things to play with because of course you can go up here and try to change your black and white look. Let's add a little bit of contrast, for example. Let's lower my exposure a little bit. Let's kill some of the highlights. Let's give a little bit of shadow, a little bit less. Let's change the black values. But overall, you're still playing with that same look. It, it looks better because I like this image in black and white. But you don't have total control. So let's go to that total control area. And that's actually here, the black and white mix. Now let's say we like the, the image, but I like more popping the image, especially in the lips. So let's just change this red. And of course we don't want it black. But let's say we like it a little bit like here. And you see that, remember how this image looks? And now let's only change the reds to this. You see that we now have a completely different look in our image. Now, if you master this and you know what to look for, you can actually tell your makeup artist, for example, to not do red lips, but for example, change the color of the lips just a little bit. So in the final results, let's say she has a red sweater, red lips. You lower the reds, the sweater gets more towards black, but the lips get also more towards black. So just tell your makeup artist, hey, I want the lips more natural. And a good makeup artist will know if you shoot black and white, what she should do with the lips. 
And overall, just play with these settings. Now, green, of course, in this scene, there wasn't a lot, but yellow is also connected, of course, to her hair and a little bit to skin tones. And same with orange. Let's say I want a little bit more of a pale skin. And just pull this a little bit more down. There we go. So really start to like this. So magenta, of course, also one of those colors that can actually be in, for example, the umbrella or skin, or in this case, even her nails. I have to be careful, of course, for areas like this, but you all know how layer masks work, right? So you can always do adjustment brushes or layer masks. I'm, I'm not going to go into that in this video. Okay, just add a little bit of vignetting maybe to the image. And there we go. So we have a totally different image and we now have total control thanks to AHSL in color and actually the color mixer in black and white. Hey guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave comments below and of course smash that like button. If you want to support our channel, head over to Patreon because, well, if you support us on Patreon, you don't only support me. And of course, all the stuff we do on YouTube and social media, but you also get a lot of extra like behind the scenes images, you get portfolio reviews, you have the bed phone where you can ask questions directly to me, and of course, discuss with all the other patrons. It's a really, really cool place. Hey guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want me to do a video on another subject, just let me know and I will do these videos for you guys. Thank you so very much for watching guys. I won't keep you any longer. Bye-bye. <laughs>